In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access Gigapixel AI from within Adobe Lightroom Classic. And we're going to go through two different workflows. The first one will be working with a single photo, and the second one will be working with multiple photos for batch processing. Now, all three photos have already been edited, so there's nothing else I need to do other than upscaling. And as you can see, in the top left of each of the thumbnails, the resolutions for these three photos are 12 megapixels, 9.1 megapixels, and 12 megapixels. And while that's fine for social media sharing, in the event that I wanna print this out large or use it for stock photography, having more megapixels would benefit me. And that's where Gigapixel AI comes in. So let's start with our single photo over here. I'm gonna right click on it, go to edit in, and then select Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now you can choose the settings for the file that you're gonna to send to Gigapixel AI. You can choose what type of file you wanna send over, as well as the file format. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna select JPEG, I'll keep the color space as Pro Photo RGB. I'll keep an 8-bit color depth, and I'll stick with a 72 PPI resolution. Now that I'm ready to send my photo to Gigapixel AI, all I need to do is click on Edit. Now that I'm in Gigapixel AI, the first thing that I'll do is select the upscale factor. So I'm going to upscale by six times. And if I pan around, I can see the improvements that Gigapixel AI is introducing into this photo keeping in mind that we are increasing the resolution by 600%. You'll notice that there are five different AI models that you can choose from. And if you wanna see multiple AI models in action at once, change the view from single view to comparison view. And between these three, I like low resolution, but one of the new things with Gigapixel AI version 5.6 in comparison view is that you can have the same model displayed in multiple quadrants. So you can see in this quadrant, we have low resolution with these settings applied. Let's say I wanna go ahead and click on this quadrant. I'm gonna change the model to low resolution as well. And this time I'm gonna take the suppressed noise slider and I'm gonna bring it all the way to zero because there really isn't any noise in this photo. And now you can see between these two versions, this version has a little bit more detail along the high contrast edges. So with this quadrant selected, I'm gonna go back to my single view to get a larger perspective. And if I click and hold, I can see the original version of this photo upscaled. And when I let go, I'll see the processed version. Now that I'm happy with the results, I'll click on apply to return back to Lightroom Classic. Now that we're back in Lightroom, you can see here is our original photo. And if you look at the top left of the cell, the resolution is 12 megapixels. And then here is our upscaled version at a whopping 432.3 megapixels. Now, if I select both of these photos and go into compare view, here's a great way to visualize what all that extra resolution means. So if I click to zoom over here, you can see how much more information is available. And we're zoomed in at just over 400%. And that's the benefit of upscaling with Gigapixel AI. Now let's take a look at a batch processing workflow. So I'm going to go back to grid view over here. And now I'm going to select both of these photos. And just like before, I'm going to right click, go to edit in and select Topaz Gigapixel AI. I'm going to keep the same settings as before with JPEG, ProPhoto RGB, 8-bit color depth, and 72 PPI. And then I'm going to click edit to send both of these photos to Gigapixel. Now, a very important point to make is that both of these line items are currently selected in these checkboxes. What that means is that if I make any changes over here on the right, they'll apply to both of the files. So for example, let's say I wanna change my upscale from 6X to 4X. You'll notice that both of these files have been updated. So if you wanna work on each photo independently, make sure you click on this select all checkbox and then activate the photo that you wanna start working on. So I'll just keep the settings here for this photo, and then I'll click on the second photo to load that one. And I'll go ahead and change this to just a two time, and I'll change the AI model from standard to low resolution. Now that I'm done editing both of these photos, here's another important point to make. Currently, the second photo is selected, and if I click on apply to return back to Lightroom, only that photo will be processed. So now's the time where you'll wanna click on the select all checkbox to make sure that both of these photo files are selected, and then click apply to process both of them. And now that we're back in Lightroom, just like before, you can see that we have our original photo and then the upscaled version nested right next to it. And the same thing goes for the second photo in this batch process. Here is our original photo and the upscaled version that's nested right next to it as well. And that's how easy it is to access Gigapixel AI from within Adobe Lightroom Classic.
Head over to topazlabs.com to download a free trial of Gigapixel AI and try it for yourself today.